talk about, tell me a story <laughs> of, you know, a time of failure, a lesson you've learned mm-hmm. recently or a long time ago, wherever it is, just, just tell me a story of failure. So when I um first saw when you communicated to me that you wanted me to share a failure story. I'm like, I don't have any failure story to share. <laughs> that was my immediate response. I'm like, wake up, Rosemary, stop the madness. We have all failed. Just stop, cut out the pride. You have failed too. So failure, all of these are common denominators to us. We've all experienced doubt, all the Ds, all the Fs. Failure um, is also a common denominator to all our lives. All of us have failed. That's why Jesus died on the cross. My failure story is when I defended my PhD. Now, hard work, I'm already small, but I remember when I finished my doctoral program, (laughs) when my mom saw me, she was, okay, now you need to come back with me to Jamaica so I can feed you. I was, I lost so much weight. This is why I have a grudge in a godly way against people who get these cheap PhDs, cheap doctor titles and call themselves doctor that didn't do the work. We have cheapened everything in society these days, including something that you're supposed to work so hard to get. But that's my platform. That's my, um, what do you call that? Pet peeve. Yes, I'd have to agree with you. Yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. So... You know, when you're doing your PhD, you have to write your dissertation, you collect the data, you analyze the data, and then you have to defend it in front of a committee. So I went in front of the committee, before the committee, to defend my dissertation. It's in the book. And I failed. Um, My committee chair had warned me and said, your research topic is very, and your design is very noble, meaning I've gone above and beyond what they require of me. And sadly, that's my personality. I'm a, I'm an overachiever. I'm a perfectionist. That's why my books are so dense. I want to give you everything. I, 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 you know, yeah. So I failed. And the reason I failed was there was so much data and so many research questions and ways to look at the data that I didn't provide them with a comprehensive report of the findings. Hmm. Justin, I don't know how I drove home that day. I remember it, graduation was in May and I wanted to graduate May. So I must have defended maybe early April or something like that. So it was a sunny day. It wasn't cold. I'm in Maryland. I got in my car and somehow I got home. I don't, I don't even know how I see to get home because I, was, I cried the entire way home. I got home. It was afternoon. I went straight to my room, didn't talk to anybody, got in the bed and covered up my head. She didn't eat dinner, do nothing. Later that night, I woke up. And about 2, 1.30 in the morning, everybody was sleeping. I got back in that little room where my computer was, pulled up the report why I failed, because I laid out all the reasons why I failed, and addressed them right then and there, one by one. Mm. And for the next week or so, for hours, I labored over it. And also, first thing in the morning, emailed my board chair, my committee chair and ask for a second chance to redefend. Now that's something they don't do. Once you fail, you wait for the next semester. And thanks be to God, he granted me the privilege to redefend. And the next time I passed in flying colors. That's Failure is not final. Failure teaches us lessons. What lesson did I learn? Don't overcomplicate it. Don't just I'm not saying be average or come below standard, but don't set yourself up for failure. Second, don't give in. Don't give up. I could have said, oh, I'm going to walk December. No, I wanted to walk with my class December, May, not December. And so you bounce back up in order to in order to overcome failure. We must be resilient and then don't define you by your failure, which is the biggest mistake a lot of us make. When we fail, we see our name on it. It's That's an incident. That's not who you are. It happened to you, not in you. This is how I describe it. Failure happens to us, not in us. And what defines us is how we handle the failure. It's how you come out of it. I wouldn't have this testimony if I'd given up. Oh, I've worked so hard and they they fail me. I'm, I'm done. 
what would that do? I wouldn't have this testimony. I wouldn't be able to teach about failure and overcoming failure. So that's my story on failure. 